then. The following contest is an Iron Man match. Making his way to the ring from the good old USA, weighing in at 254 pounds, the legend, the captain, R.L. Looking out at the countless members of the WWE Universe in attendance, they are all here because of matches like this one. This is a guy who always seeks out the highest level of competition, and I think he'll get it tonight.
and his opponent from out of this world, weighing in at 206 pounds, Sinister. Gentlemen, this has all the makings of an all-time classic match, and I fully expect it to deliver on that promise. He's in perhaps the best physical condition of his life. He knows what it takes to reach the top here in WWE. These superstars came here looking to put each other to the ultimate test and find out once and for all who the superior athlete is. And let me tell you, when you're battered and bruised, every minute on that clock can feel like an eternity. This match is as mentally demanding as it is physically. He turns it around. Wrenching the arm. Driven all the way down for a European arm breaker. He can do it here. Stops the count before it, too. Not getting the two at this point has got to say something. He's heading to the floor, but he can't take his time. Right. Oh, right to the back of the net. What a blow. Good night. Delivered into the barricade. Four. Waist lock. No, no. Guys, where does pacing come into play for this matchup? Well, if a competitor can dictate the pace of the match, they can control things enough to get a fall and possibly another. Well, pacing is mission critical. Oftentimes, your opponent's thinking the same thing you are. Go for the quick fall and play defense. The power on display right now is ridiculous. And he goes into the ring. I don't like the look in his eye here, folks. From the top! Okay, consider that a harsh lesson. Taken out from high above. You gotta be some special kind of crazy to do that. Yep, yep. Damn for a European arm breaker. Well executed suplex. And he's just having his way in this match. That's what he does. Keeps on the attack. Punishing stretch. That attack was definitely pre-calculated hoping to greatly diminish the power in that arm. Brief sign of adrenaline there for him. He gets back into the ring. down what is this superstar looking for legs are great by now the arms are trapped this won't end well oh big stop quickly the cover he sneaks one in there uh-oh what a takedown fujiwara on bar oh fujiwara Tap out, he may! He has 
barely hanging on. Uh-oh. I think he's going to tap out. Of effort to overcome the pin attempt. Hits the drop kick. After that, since then, is it time to fade? Oh, is he going to tap out? Could earn a fall, he does. Yeah, he can't afford to be down a fall. Hang on, hang in there. He needs to find an escape route. Nice. Double underhook applied. Butterfly suplex. Trapping their opponent's arm. And just able to make it to the ropes. That was a close call. On the top. Double axe handle. Arm control applied and a kick right to the midsection. He is mentally and physically exhausted now. This is a very dangerous situation now. Out of the ring. What's his plan here? <laughs> Suplex. Carefully measured knee drop. And the unabated offense continues. Yeah, he has really hit a brick wall here. Knee. Plenty of ways to get creative up on the entrance area. Also, plenty of ways to get yourself seriously hurt. He has a task at hand, but prefers to be showboating right now. Okay, already we get it. Stop looking for adulation for the crowd and get back into the fight. Side of the ring now. What's the plan here? Textbook jumping clothesline. Oof. Saving us from having to sit through that. Oh, and he slammed his face right into the barricade. What a wrist clutch suplex. The close of this match is just ahead. I don't want to say he's done, but I can hear the fat lady warming up. Gets put into the barricade. He's heading back to the ring. Seven. Has the opposition in the palm of his hand, and he knows it. With that, he scores the fall there. He heads outside. Countouts legal in this match. Setting up for something here. Outside, but this one has to end in the ring. Uh -oh. Thunderous power bomb. Oh, and a stop. Four. Debilitating attack on the leg. Clear out. Easier said than done. They are not concerned about Seven. anyone else's well being. Off the barricade. Eight. And back in the ring we go. And he's taking this to the outside now. Nothing fancy here. Backbreaker and backbreaker. Showing him what a real alpha male looks like. to truly appreciate and embrace his presence. From the top!
He's going for the pin. This could be it. He sneaks a fall there. Hook the arm for a Fujiwara armbar. Ah, oh, Fujiwara armbar applied. He's definitely being the aggressor here. That's what he does. Keep on the attack. He deflects it right back. Right to the jaw. Driven down powerbomb. The heart of these competitors is showing through tonight. The adrenaline is coursing through their veins. That puts him in total control. He gets a fall there. into the fireman's carry. And... Oh, what a kick! Caught with a punch. From the top! Are you kidding me? That's gotta be it. Able to stop the pin count here. Coming here, submission move being applied. There it is! A 
don't think he's about to earn this fall. The submission is one. And there's the tap. And come on now, the ref has got to get in. Here's a cover. Could be it. And he got one. Vicious right forearm. Thunderous club comes down. Very effective. He's able to sidestep there. Spine buster. You can see as he rises how vulnerable of a position he's in. Going for it again. into the fireman's carry and bang! and that was a well targeted attack quick thinking pays off somehow some way they weathered the storm here is your winner sinister you cannot say they didn't give it their all and then some to achieve this victory Practically an inhuman effort in terms of resilience on display throughout this match. You really have to hand it to them. They earned this victory.